In Creo Parametric, I want to define the milling sequences in order to machine this mold component. To do that, you can either start off with an NC assembly or a manufacturing NC model. Let me show you how to do that. Let's say I click on the new button or you could use the keyboard shortcut of control N. In the new dialog box, if you go to assembly, there is an option for an NC model. And if you go to manufacturing, we also have the NC assembly option. Let me show you the first one for assembly and then choose NC model. And I'm not gonna bother changing the name. I'll click OK and we get into this dialog box where it's asking us to select what model that we want to add in here as our reference model. And I'm going to select this part that I just had open and click the open button. And then in the menu manager, we only have three choices. We can delete the reference model, we can create our stock, or we can retrieve our stock. And in the ribbon, there is the same choice here for creating stock or retrieving the stock. And if you click on create stock, we have our automatic workpiece creation. And we can see the different dimensions that are selected for the workpiece, which makes it slightly bigger than the model. We can double click on these different dimensions and change their value. Maybe I want to change this one to five. And let's see, the width is right now a weird number, so I can click on that. And maybe I'm going to change it to seven. If you take a look at the ribbon, you have the controls of whether you're going to do a rectangular workpiece or a round workpiece. And if I go to the options tab, we can also change the dimensions from this location. And also importantly, we have the ability to change the set of units from inches to millimeters. And in this case, maybe I'll change this number to 200 millimeters. Oh, it's See if I can go with 125 on this one. And let's see what else do I need to change. I'm having trouble finding the dimension on here. Instead of changing right there, I could change this to, let's maybe make this 275. Oh, it looks like 125 was too small. Let's make this 150. So that is good. Now I can hit the check mark and you can see that the workpiece is automatically changed to a transparent green color. Now I can take this NC assembly and put it into my manufacturing NC model. Let's click on the new button and I'll use the manufacturing option here. And we have the choice for NC assembly. I'll use the default template and click the OK button. Creating that NC assembly really isn't necessary. Right from the NC manufacturing model, you can assemble your reference model. And what I like about doing it in the manufacturing NC assembly is that you also have the choice to inherit or merge a reference model. And inherit is the really, really good choice because you might have your final design model and it's going to be cast and then it's going to be machined. So you might want to change some features from the final design version. So that's why I prefer doing it here. And you could also create your work piece from here. But if you do have one of those NC assemblies, you can go to the components overflow menu and then go to manufacturing assembly. And there are two different choices in here. There's assemble and classify, and then there's just assemble. The advantage of assemble and classify is that if you have that NC assembly, it's automatically going to be able to tell which is the workpiece and which is the reference model. So I can click assemble and classify. Let me go to in session and there is the model that I just created. I'll click the open button and let's just right click and use the default constraint in order to locate the component and then hit the check mark. And there you can see the NC assembly that I had just created. And I mentioned that it automatically classifies the components. If you want to classify them manually, there is a classify command here. And I'm going to pick the workpiece just to show you that when I select it and then hit the middle mouse button, workpiece is selected here because it automatically recognized that it was the workpiece. Let's say that I go back to the classify command. I'm going to query select to get to, 
Now let me just pick it out of here. Get to the main volume component and then click OK. Now reference model is selected in the menu manager because I recognize that the main volume was created as the reference model in the NC assembly. So again, creating the NC assembly, not really necessary, but if that's your preference, you could use that method instead. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.